Hello and welcome back to my channel. First, before I uh, say anything else, I wanted to let some people know that there was a woman that was being chased by a guy last night and got uh, and she ran out in front of a train sometime uh, after sunset and lost her life out here uh, in Paul's Valley. And we're not right now. I'm still not sure who it was. I just know that. There was someone that I knew chasing her. Her net, I'm not sure what's happened there. And I thought I'd be showing what to, what I found about this time last year at a swap shop here. I've, this old vintage uh, Lionel uh, freight set with the 442 steam locomotive. Of the uh, Chesapeake in Ohio, but I'm not even sure what year it was even on the market from Lionel. But it came with a, a cold tender, his open quad hopper, flat car, a gondola, and a box car. And at the end it was that Chesapeake and Ohio yellow caboose. But for the layout, there's not much I've done. A couple weekends ago I had my air conditioner go out and I haven't done too much. But did end up taking that little strip of road out here on the side and just added a mountain and doing that on the, that other table and start working on the tunnel a little bit. And it also, should, I would like to give a shout out to BNSF 6951. His mother passed away this past week and no one uh, even knows if he, or I don't even know if he ever made it over to New York to see his uh, mother's uh, funeral service or what's happened with him over the past uh, six days. I knew that people were trying to help him get money together to go out there, but there's not had been much said about it over the past uh, five days that I know of. And then just past a Saturday over at DeSoto Speedway in Florida, a asphalt wing sprint, sprint car driver lost his life in a first lap turn one accident. And he it was uh, caught live on Facebook. Well, but there isn't just that, too much uh, Crazy people, crazy things happened in this past uh, few a uh, few weeks. But for now, I'm, here's that tunnel that's not even centered up. I got to do some work on it. And then uh, on the scenery on this part of the layout, I decided to go ahead and. Do do a mountain all the way around to there. But I was wanting to also show that something that happened to one of my uh, engines. But first, a little bit of a derailment here. I got a, get a soldering iron and uh, 
fix the, the connection right in there. It came unsoldered on the back uh, set of axles on this uh, GP38-2 from Athern. Uh, let me get the flashlight and I'll maybe it, it can be seen better. Right there, that connection is came undone. Or, or derailed it or something. Whenever I had that collision between two of my trains. But other than that, not a whole hell of a lot has been going on with this layout. I, Try uh, just got uh, something paid off that I need to do. Uh, needed to get uh, paid off. So I've been paying on uh, a loan I took out back in 2015, and I finally got it done. So I'm gonna uh, try to get some more uh, rolling stock go, uh, starting next month in the month. Uh, after the first of May. But there's just not a whole too much that's happened with a lot of the Red Rock subdivision just to some of some of the usual type trains, no regular, just plain BNSF power coming through uh, through town here lately. I, there was only one UP train that came through. I didn't manage to catch that at the time, but uh, here in a few. Uh, few weeks hopefully I'll be able to get something to cover up all that brown uh, brown stuff I laid down and fix that tunnel a little bit better but for this uh, other little piece I found off of the air conditioner they had to replace I don't know what the heck it is but I thought it would make a good uh, load for my center beam flat car, or the depressed center flat car I have. Uh, there, man, I've been having a little mechanical issues with the GP40, but it seems like it's running a little better. But it only don't make too much noise when it runs at a low speed. But I start here having a lot of noise being made when it goes. I crank it up to 60 or 70 scale miles per hour. And of course, I still haven't got all these cars up on on the wall. But until next time, I'll be a I'll a shout at you. Just keep running those trains and wires. I have some old uh, cabooses that I bought on eBay back last year. I decided to. Turn them into like little structures or something along the layout, but I'm not sure where I'm going to exactly put them. And of course, you can tell I've got a mess on the part of the layout trying to get stuff done.
Because I also decided to go ahead and try to cut, make their line eventually goes out right here. I don't know. I'll probably just leave it like it is, just to build new scenery around this section. Well, see, be hauling it here in a couple weeks or so. Just have have to see how things go with my other my job and stuff before I can really do anything else.